which gives us an assembling machine, which is pretty nice. Right. And sure. then after that, I think steel processing because it gives us the steel axe, which is just amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just um, better. So I'm gonna lock in logistics. Can you see that we're researching logistics now? Um, I don't know. No. Above don't your, so. above your oh, mini map. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see it. Yeah. Okay. If you go over to the lab, the lab. Right. Um, and you click on it, you will see a green bar filling up. Yes. Every time that green bar, bar fills up, we get a little bit more in our logistic research. And once the green bar on the top is full, we get uh, logistics unlock. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird tool, but I think we need more iron. We have still have enough copper, but we need more iron ore so that we can create more science kits. Hmm. Because we're going to run out, and if we run out, then the research stops. Oh, that's not good. So we need copper and iron. Yeah, but I think we want to set up something of... But like, at, at this point, I think we should just mine like a shit ton of iron. Because I want to set up like a mine that mines iron for us. Right, yeah. Like a basic system, which we have to get the ore out of a chest. So so we need only iron. Well, we right need... Right now. Uh, or we game, need copper too. You need copper, but in this game, you need like five iron for every copper. And oh, what happens okay. to me is I have like, on my other uh, game, I have like three iron mines and like one copper mine. And I have mm. like copper out the wazoo. Yeah. And I, I'm always short on iron. Right. So it's better if we're now both mining iron and on every once in a while. Yeah, if we just, if we're like, oh shit, we, we need some copper, then we just go mm. mine some copper. But. Do these like nodes ever run out? If you look on the right below your minimap, it says how much uh, is amount. in Amount. Yeah, amount. But it's a 962. Shit yeah, and that's every. That's not the entire field oh, that you're looking at. That's that singular of... square has that Jesus. in it. So I, I've never mined a node completely away. Oh, I've right. run out of. Uh, I've run out of tools. Yeah, me too. You need four stuffles. Um. Or stacks 50 and everything else stacks 100, I think, for as far as I know. Okay. F Uh, Can you put all your copper in the chest? Yes. That's one. It's not much, only three plates. Okay, for an electric, uh, an electric mining drill, we need 23 iron plates and four and a half copper plates. Four and a half copper plates. Yeah, because we need three electronic circuits, and electronic circuits are crafted by twos. Oh, right. I just so... spilled my drink on myself. Oh. That's, That's quite nice. good. Oh, is it nice? Yeah, just give me a second, I'm gonna take off my shirt. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. Oh. Can we traverse water? <sighs> That's a lot better. God, it's so fucking hot because I can't have my fan on when yeah, I'm recording. Me well, I mean, it can, but it's gonna make the audio shit. Um, Alright, so once we have the electri electric mining drill, we also need an inserter and we need a chest just for the basic system. Okay. After this, I want to make it into, like, I've sent you a video of one of my creations. Yes. It was that huge. thing is ridiculous. It has, like, seven mines set up to it. And like a shit ton of, of second tier furnaces and it like automatically takes the coal to my power and to my furnaces and everything was automated. It was beautiful. Does sound pretty good. Yeah, we can also eventually like automatically... I have made a system before where we where I automatically um, crafted those science kits that are needed um, for research and puts mm. them into multiple research labs which make the research go faster. Right. But, like, those were two separate worlds. In one world, I focused on getting research automated, so my research was automated. Yeah. But then, um, on the other world, I focused on getting my resource gathering automated, so I got mm. that automated too. Again, kind of whatever we focus on, that's what way we're going to research as well. Right. So, like, both times, I've researched completely different facts. Mm. I would say, let's do the thing that gets us the craziest factory. Right, let's go for um, just basic research uh, automation because it makes it a lot easier to do the rest once okay. you have that. 
Wait, research or resource? Resource. Okay. Because nice. research you can always then set up afterwards and it makes mm. that easier because you already have the materials. Okay. Like if we if we automate uh, research, it's really nice, but we don't have the resources to make that system effective. Right. Basically the problem I ran into when I was doing that. Um Yay! Okay. Let me just draw us. Oh! Oh god! You can control click the yeah. things to get it out. Yes, shift click and control click is putting all the items that you have of that type in there. Can you put your uh, electricity poles in the chest? Uh, yes. Alright. There you go. I already nicked them. Here's some iron plates too. Oh. Oh, you can put it on top of the, the iron. Yes. Can you hear that music? No, I have my music turned off. I should no turn roll. it up. Music for you. Yeah, oh! Turn it up actually, it's was... Okay, so it's this kind is of the funky. Thing. Oh, what's that? It's, it's stopped now because, as you can see, on the ground in front of it, there's iron ore. Yes. We, uh, okay. That's why it stopped, because it can't place another iron ore there. That's why we're going to get... So we need a conveyor one belt. Nope. Yeah, or oh. we just do it. That's what we're going to do eventually. But for right. now, we're just going to take this guy, which is an inserter. We're going to okay. make it insert into that chest over there. And it oh. needs electricity. So there we go. We put it full down. Oh, shit. Yeah, and this one goes pretty slow. But the fast one goes ridiculously fast. And that's why I want to get... Hmm. Um, wait, wait the logistics which gives us the fast inserter. It seems to be able to keep up though with the iron production. It does, but it just doesn't look as epic. Wait until you see the fast inserter, then you will want fast inserters <laughs> everywhere. Right. They're amazing. So now we're getting automatic iron ore. Holy shit, it already got 15. Yeah, it goes so much faster than we Jesus. Go. That's why I wanted it. Like this is always mm. the first thing. This is like pretty much my first setup. Right. Uh, if you click right click, left click on one of the electricity poles, you can see our electricity system. Oh, oh Jesus. So what it does now is you can see that production is uh, low, right? Which means that production yes. isn't capped out, consumption is capped out. But once consum uh, production is full and consumption isn't, that means we need to get more electricity into the system. It means it doesn't run efficiently. It's short on electricity. Right. Oh yeah, so I see the production is a lot higher than the consumption. Yeah. Consumption is very low right now. Basically. And production is high. So when that orange line gets higher than the blue line, that's when we start having problems. Um, Does it work like that? No. The oh. blue line, as you, can, if you, as you can see, the blue line is just how much our electric mining drill takes up. The orange line is how much the research lab takes up. And then the green line is how much the inserter. No, no, no. I mean the blue line on the right. Oh, no, no. This, these are just graphs to show oh, what you not... produce with what. If you look okay. up in the top, you have consumption, which is a, oh, a green yeah. bar. Yeah. That's completely full. That means that consumption is maxed out, but produc oh. production isn't. Production is short, like it has yeah. extra room. Yeah. But once production is maxed out and consumption isn't, that means we have to build another boiler steam engine thing. Right. So we right now we have all the machines that we could possibly run on one steam engine no oh. we have we can run a lot more machines because um production still has room to take up like you'll see once we get once we get it those bars switch like the consumption will become the bar will become less full and production will be maxed out which means that consumption is being throttled basically Wait, but consumption is the power that's being used, and yes. production is the power that's being created. Yes. So, so right now they're the same. Yeah, that's because you can never produce more than that you're con than oh, you're consuming, right. right? But you can consume. Well, you also can't consume more than you're producing. But it shows the capacity and how much of that you're using. So we're using the full consumption that we can, that like that we draw. That, that's we fully use that but we don't use the oh full i see so your consumption will always be completely full unless you're not producing em enough then your consumption won't yeah be uh, right full. yeah i see i get it i understand okay great um because that's why kind of a basic thing 
Um, like every once in a while, we when, once you build like new, some new machinery, just check up on that and make mm. sure that that's still going great. Um, the next mine I want to set up is for coal, I think. Okay. But we need some more iron for that. Right. Which we currently have enough of. Well, we don't have enough of it yet, but... Seven iron in this chest. Yeah, I just looted like a half, like one and a half stack. Jesus, 45. Holy shit. That's a lot of iron. Okay, I just added another 16 uh, things to the lab. I've been filling it up without telling you for a bit now because so how do you make the science pack is it just in the crafting thing in, too yeah intermediate project products and then you can oh, yeah, see, see the science, science pack one you can copper see plate you... and one iron gear wheel yeah and then if you look at the total raw then there's that's where you can see how much you need of raw resources. oh right that's so what we need i learned 5.5 seconds two iron plates and a, one copper plate and then you get one science pack i see so if you have the total raw in your inventory, do you still need to create all the parts or will you it do create, it for you? It will automatically create all the parts for you. Okay. Um, but you still need, of course, those No, parts. yeah, you still need the raw. That's why I said if you do the, the right click to do five, it will first create all the, the other parts that you need and then it will start creating those five of the items you want. Right. So if you quickly need something, it's better to create it one at a time. Because then it will create mm. all the parts for one, create one. All the parts for one, create one. Instead Jeez. of all the parts for five, create five. All yeah. the parts for five, create five. Oh, I'm out of tools. Yeah, I just created two new ones. Pull some from there. Um. Okay, we can build another thing. Um, I'm still going to do the just the quickly put it into chest system because we're yeah low right tech now, it's pretty low tech um how do you build conveyor belts is it in here too yes it's under logistics i see transport belts yeah but at this point in time we don't really have the stuff for that um do you have copper whoa it's hey logistics finished. Logistic finished oh i need a couple more options yes i'm gonna select automation Next one. Now we have the the underground conveyor belt, which is bliss. You can go under other conveyor belts. It just adds this extra dimension. Yeah. And then we have the splitter and we have the fast inserter. Um, do you... Oh, never mind. I can create some electricity poles. Run this over here. Oh, that was in the way. You can't I'm place something on your own head. Hello? Oh. Hello? <laughs> wow. It's like those things at the airport. Yes. <laughs> okay, um... Just slowly moves you along. You, I kind of want to set up like a basic iron smelting facility. So I'm going to create... For this, I'm just going to create some new stone furnaces. Right. Um, and we're gonna need a shit ton of conveyor belts, so we're first gonna have to gather some resources. Yeah. Uh, I have two more conveyor copper. belts here. Yeah, can you put them in the chest? Yes. Can so we gonna... drop things on the ground? I haven't figured out how. You must be able to, right? Yeah, but I don't, I don't also don't know how to pick stuff off of the ground, so... Oh, right. So that's, that's just put, let's just make that our trade chest. Yeah. Uh, can you grab some copper? Oh. Uh, yes. I also kind of want to do it so that we send our coal automatically to the, um, the boiler so that we don't have to completely... Oh, yeah. It. It's a bit of a pain. Like, if once you have set it up to automatically just fix that, it's so much nicer. Mm. Um, okay, I've just put in two extra stacks of iron ore. <laughs> Our mining sounds are creating, like, mm -hmm. a fat beat. I know. I usually play this game during like some boring ass class at school, and I'll just sit. <laughs> I'll just sit there staring at my teacher with my 
with my finger just on the right mouse button, just mining. Right. Just staring at like the stream and boring. I think this game works on Mac, so I can put it on my laptop. Um, yeah, it's uh, cross-platform. It works on oh. Linux, Mac, and Windows. Nice. I'm gonna install it on my laptop then and play it. Oh Constantly. yeah, it's, it's totally awesome to play this. It's cool. 